Welcome to November. I apologize for the abrupt ending to a Nightmare on Elm Street series. That that was voted on by patrons for me to switch when something happened. I got this in the mail today. It's a box. What is inside the box, you ask? Well, let's find out. So, I know what's in here. You guys don't. I do. I got this, didn't know what it was, and went ahead and opened it and did something with it. So, I'll set this on the ground. And yes, it is, of course, the brand new Friday the 13th box set from Scream Factory. So, you may have said, well, why didn't you open it and take plastic off and all that? Well, got this in the mail. It was such a large box. I didn't really know what it was. And so I opened it up and there it was. I didn't even get a shipping notification on this. I got that my item went from on hold to order taken. That was it. I didn't get anything else on it. So, what we have in the box, well, there's also a poster in there. I'm not going to open the poster because I have a hard time getting it back. The One of the things I will say, though, is this box is very loose. So, if you, like, display it somewhere, you're going to want to have these facing out as opposed to the box facing out. So, I'm going to run over the special features for those who don't know. So, first off, this is Friday the 13th. This is part one, right? This is part one. Okay, yeah, so all of them have reversible covers, it would seem. Now, the cool part is, is disc one on here is the theatrical cut. The second well, theatrical cut and the second disc is the uncut version. This has new scans from the original uh, from the original negatives, new 4K scans of both the uncut and the theatrical version. Um, and I think I think that's the only thing new on here. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I have not checked the special features on these yet. Well, that's not true. I checked special features on one. Not on one item, which is this one. This is Friday the 13th Part 2. Now, there's a new 4K scan on this one, too. And it's not listed on here, but there is slashed scenes. And it has the gore that was cut by the MPAA. There is no sound, however. Now, Part 3... There's a new 4K scan as well. Um, there's also commentary. And the cool part with this one is that this is 3D. So if you have a 3D TV, you can watch the actual 3D on this without use of the lenses, which is kind of cool. And before I review it, because I'm going to go through this set and review the special features as well, Part 3 is one of my favorites. This is, this is Friday the 13th 4 of uh, the final chapter. One of my all-time favorite Friday the 13ths. Now, if you recognize the mask with the dagger in it, that was from Friday the 13th, the video game on the NES, which is where I first learned about it. Now, the alternate covers on these are... It's just Friday the 13th. I actually like this one better. That's why I didn't show you part two, because part two was just words. Um, let's go into part three. Maybe part three will be different. So. Ooh, I actually. Here, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm actually going with the better cover art here, because my gosh, that's beautiful.
Here, now you can see it a lot better. That is the new cover art for Friday the 13th Part 3. Well, new, I don't mean new as in new. I think this was a poster somewhere. But I really like this art. Next up, we have New Beginning. And I don't think New Beginning was remastered in 4K. Since it's coming out, there's a booklet. I'll go over that here in a second. Oh, you son of a... Okay. I'm just going to do it this way. There we go. The box can be used for something. Okay. Ooh! This is Friday the 13th, A New Beginning. And this has a new new interview, or new interview, new audio commentary with Melanie Kinnaman, Deborah Voorhees, and Tiffany Helm. Tiffany Helm was Violet, I believe. Deborah Voorhees was the one who uh, gets murdered. Well, they all get murdered. She's the, she's the one who's topless in this that gets murdered. Okay, yeah. So, this is the current art, and I'm not changing it. This is the art that I remember. This is much better art on here, actually. So, new beginning. Uh, I took him out of order. Okay, so I'll have to kill from the bottom. Jason Lives. Jason Lives is another one I really enjoy. This has a new audio commentary with C.J. Graham, Tom Matthews, Vincent Gustafaro, Kenny Noonan, and Cynthia Kanai. Now, I have... Uh, this also has a fan commentary with Adam Green and Joe Lynch. This does port over some stuff from this set right here. Not all of it, but some of it. So, so that's kind of cool. Let's see the... There is no reversible cover. So, one through five have reversible covers. Six does not. Does part seven? Part seven does not either. But here is part seven, the new blood. This doesn't look like there's anything new on it. But that is just according to to the uh, insert or the cover or whatever you want to call it. This has been wrong before. There is a commentary with uh, John Carl Beekler and actor Kane Hodder, and a commentary with John Carl Beekler. Lar Park Lincoln and Kane Hodder as well. One of them, I think, is from, I want to say Laserdisc, and I don't think that's right. But one's from, oh no, one's from the from Crystal Lake box set. That's what it is. From Crystal Lake to Hell or whatever that DVD box set was. Stuff is both ported over from this and that DVD set. So, not all of it, again, not all of it. And... Right now, not one of my favorites, but I need to revisit it. All right, does this one? This one doesn't have an alternative cover, although I do like the inside. So here it is. Jason takes a boat. I mean Manhattan. There's an audio commentary with the director, which it doesn't say that's news. There's an audio commentary with Scott Reeves, Jensen Daggett, and Kane Hodder. There's a making of on here, deleted scenes, a gag reel, and the theatrical trailer. I know for a fact that the gag reel and I think the slat, the making of are on this one. Again, I remember not being too thrilled with this because, again, it's Jason who takes a boat. Now, here. Here is... Oh, wow, the... It's actually the same. This is Jason Goes to Hell. And then on the inside, it's pretty much the same, just with more words. Um, the cool part is for the first time ever, you have the unrated version on Blu-ray. You may have noticed I keyed in an on Blu-ray. Because for the longest time, the unrated version, it's not in this box for whatever reason. You could only get it on DVD, which is strange. Very, very strange. 
Now, with thanks to Scream Factory, we have Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. And if you're counting, folks, that's the second final title in a Friday the 13th film. Well, technically, I guess this isn't a Friday the 13th film. It's a Jason film. I'll get to that when I review the movie wholeheartedly. But there's a new 2K scan of the Interpositive. It doesn't say of which one. A new audio commentary with Adam Marcus and Peter Brock. Peter Brock wrote Crystal Lake Memories. New interviews with Adam Marcus and Kane Hodder. Additional TV footage with a new optional commentary with Adam Mar Marcus and Peter Brock. Then the commentary that was from the DVD is on there. And a theatrical trailer is included. Again, Jason Goes to Hell. Interesting movie. Now, this is my favorite Friday the 13th film. Jason X. Let's see, is there a reversible? There is a reverse. Interesting. So, there is a reversible cover, but all it does is the cover is the same. It just replaces the image of her oops, with this guy. Interesting. Um, new to this is new interviews with Sean Cunningham and Noel Cunningham, Kane Hodder and Christy Angus. And the rest, I'm pretty sure, is all ported over from the Blu-ray, which was ported over from the New Line something? New Line Classics, I think it was? Or Diamond? or There for a while, New Line, when they put out DVDs, they would do two-disc editions. Jason X had a two-disc edition. A Nightmare on Elm Street had a two-disc edition. And a few others did as well, but I don't think that caught on. Now I'm making sure I'm putting these all back correctly. All right. Next up, we have we have Freddy versus Jason, or oops, just that one, which I actually I know who it is, and it would tell you on the side. Actually, I think I kind of like just the supernatural look, so I'm going to switch that now. Give y'all a better look here. All right. Place your bets. Um, so, I liked Freddy vs. Jason. Pretty sure everything on here is ported over. I think this had Freddy vs. Jason in it. If not, then A Nightmare on Elm Street did. But, yeah, this is, this is going to be everything ported over from that first... Uh, Freddy vs. Jason Blu-ray. Same with the next one we get. So, there's nothing new on this disc. Um, now, whether or not Scream Factory couldn't touch them, I don't know, because that has happened before. And then, of course, the final one. Let's see if there's anything different. This one. Yeah, there is. I actually... I'm switching this one over, too. So, this is the remake... Again, no new features. This one actually was put out on Blu-ray, I want to say, probably, what, 10 years ago now? Because I think this was 2010 when it came out. Okay, no, this was 2009. I like this art better. Um, this was 2009. There was somebody in this movie, and I can't remember who he was. I can't remember the name. But that guy went on to become a more famous actor. Let's see if his... Okay. Can't find his name on here. When I review this, I will let you know who it was because I was shocked he was in it. Um, this came out in 2009. Fun story, since I'm here, I'll share it when I review it too, but my dad took me to see this movie. We went to a theater, I want to say in Peoria, because I had a doctor's appointment, and he and I, after that appointment went to see Friday the 13th. And he got to watch me jump a few times. So, so yeah. One of the first horror films my dad ever took me to was in 2009. So, he got a kick out of it. I enjoyed it. And then after that, when 
we went to Universal Studios. He and I did the horror makeup show together, and we both really enjoyed it. So, so fun story with this one. I will need to rewatch it. I remember liking it at the time. I haven't watched it since. And now, this one. This is your bonus disc. Now, on the back, it says there's new interview with Harry Manfredini, Manfredini new location featurette. And then there's stuff that's ported over from both this um, and the DVD set. But there's also um, something that it doesn't say on here, and I'm not sure why it doesn't. But this has the Alice Cooper music video. And it's not a shitty YouTube rip. It has the Alice Cooper Man Behind the Mask music video. Alice Cooper talking about Man Behind the Mask. And this is two discs. So if I had to venture a guess, what's listed is on disc one, or what's listed is disc two and not disc one. So yeah, this is a really, really cool set. I will be reviewing these the month of November. Now, it's going to take me no, probably through the new year to get through 12 movies. Heads up. Not doing fan films. I'm not going to do the fan films because my plate's pretty full with 12 movies. When this is over, I'm going to go back to... Oh, I said I'd mention the booklet. comes with a booklet, and I think there's excerpts from Crystal Lake Memories. Not 100% sure. It also has the Blu-ray credits in here. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Also has the Blu-ray credits in here. Oh no, this is this is by Michael Gingold. This is not Crystal Lake Memories. I apologize. This one had stuff from Crystal Lake Memories. This has stuff, but has like a uh, article's not the right word, but that's all I can think of. Um, yeah, I guess an article written by Michael Gingold. So that is it. That was this unboxing. Again, I'm not unboxing the the uh, poster, but it does say Scream Factory in Friday the 13th. So I hope next Halloween we have a Nightmare on Elm Street set. And when the, if they do that, I will get that, and I will go through the special features on it and show you what's in that as well. Um, again, so like I was saying. As soon as Friday the 13th series is done, I will go back to A Nightmare on Elm Street. We left off on Part 4, so I'll go back, watch Part 4. And then when that Nightmare on Elm Street stuff is done, I will go back to Al Adamson. Um, and I apologize for so many just stops and starts. I started to watch so many Al Adamson movies, they were starting to run together. And they were starting to bore me. So I switched to A Nightmare on Elm Street because originally my thought was, I can do A Nightmare on Elm Street until I get Friday the 13th. And what will happen is everything will be copacetic. If, if we hadn't had that internet issue for two, three weeks, then I probably would have been close to done to A Nightmare on Elm Street series before hopping to Friday the 13th. As it stands, I had to hop to Friday the 13th first. So, I'm sorry. But, I will be reviewing special features on these. I will be discussing Crystal Lake Memories where it is appropriate. Uh, probably not the first one because most people know the first one. Um, and most people know the stories behind the first one. So I will start Crystal Lake Memories on part two. So thank you for watching. Remember to stay spooky, stay scary, take care. I will see you guys next Friday for Friday the 13th filmed a few days later uh, after I unboxed the Friday the 13th set. If you've seen my Nightmare episodes, you notice I'm wearing a Nightmare on Elm Street shirt. So, thought I would tag this on to the back of the unboxing of Friday the 13th. You can't do a review without a t-shirt, and this is a Jason Lives t-shirt. I got this from Hot Topic. This will be my shirt for whenever I review Friday the 13th. Now, Friday the 13th t-shirts seem to be kind of hard to come by unless you're at Hot Topic. So, wanted to show this off and let you know this will be the shirt that I wear for my Friday the 13th reviews. So, 
Uh, thank you for watching. Next week, patrons will be getting me trying snacks, followed by Friday the 13th Part 1, and then the next week will be me trying more snacks for Friday the 13th Part 2 because a friend of mine actually sent me some stuff. He's also a patron. We, we love the guy. He'll, he will get a shout out in the patron episode. He's a stand-up comedian uh, named Joe. I don't know if he wants his last name said or not, but Big Trick Joe, I think is his nickname, is Big Trick, and his name's Joe. I call him Joe Joe, went to high school with the guy, amazing dude. So check out my Friday reviews uh, next week, and then check out my food review if you are a patron of $1 or more of the stuff Joe Joe sent me. I, Joe, Big Trick Joe. So thank you, everybody, and we will see you next time.